Now this is a technique that I've used for a long time but never shown it. Uh, little bitty presentations. Crappy sometimes. When they're real finicky, it's the difference between catching fish and not. Now this needs to be written in the book of crappie. Well, good morning, folks. It's Richard Gene, the fishing machine. It's going to be a windy day today, but we're going to go crappie fishing. But let's uh, let's talk about what bait we're going to use today, as far as artificial. A normal crappie jig is two inches long, as a standard rule of thumb. Now, for the super finesse. No doubt, little, I, mean, let me see, I want y'all to look now, little bitty, itty, bitty, baby finesse jig is the mini magnet, mini magnet. It has a size 14 hook, has two jig heads with it, okay, and uh, one two hundredth of an ounce. A two hundredth of an ounce uh, jig head very very light but a size 14 hook this bait right here is five eighths of an inch long that's right five eighths just think about that folks one eighth of an inch more than a half inch that is a super tiny presentation now the question is will crappie hit such a little bitty bait the answer is this it's a fact they will and good crappie pretty good sized crappie why crappie is that like I've been saying for years feed on tiny tiny stuff they feed on little leeches, little tadpoles, emerging, emergent nymphs like water bugs, mayflies, you name it, a crappie will feed on it. Especially well, when they're laying eggs, when they're spawning. Anything available in that area, they will eat. And that's why bait types like this should be in your tackle box. Because there's going to be a lot of times where crappie is going to prefer little bitty baits. A lot of times nothing else will work but little tiny baits like this. Now, there's a lot of different baits that I use. Even tiny, tiny hair jigs will work. But this is a good one. Black ones and white ones will work to catch crappie. Let me show you my setup. Here's a white one rigged up right here. As y'all can see, a little white one. Uh, I'm probably going to start off with a black one. It's kind of overcast this morning. Now, the sun's supposed to come out, but uh, we'll see. But let's take this off. I want to show y'all something. Y'all see this hook? Okay, it's a size 14 hook. If you notice, I have bent the hook out. Because if you don't, you'll miss crappie. That hook will slide in that crappie's mouth. He'll open it, he'll feel that. He'll open it and blow it out. Guarantee you. So when you bend that hook out that way, with these tiny, tiny hooks, what happens is when he inhales that little jig and when you set the hook, it won't slide. It'll instantly penetrate there where that bait is in the crappie's mouth at that time that you decide to set the hook. Okay? Now, I'm going to use a, a strike indicator right here. Now, that's a this is just a uni knot here and one right here. They slide, see, where I can adjust the depth and it'll keep the float in position. 
and of course on two pound test line which is what I'm using that's a trilane knot now another key to this is a limber rod the most limber rod that I have right now of course I'm gonna look for some more I would like to find some even more limber than this but this is a six and a half foot sow belly rod it's limber as a dish rag I mean I'll show you what I'm talking about let me show you see that see the flex it's got it needs to be a little bit more limber but I think we can get by with that let's go catch them alright folks right in there looks like a great place for a spawning crappie let's see if we can catch one I'm just barely going to move it. I barely, barely, barely let it sit there. Look here. Look, 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 look. There he is. That's crappie. Now, I've got this drag set really light. The reason is, <clears throat> is because of that size 14 hook to keep it from ripping out. Well, there's another one right there, and that's a white crappie. Sure is. That's a little white crappie, little male. Look at that. Y'all see that little jig? Tiny, tiny. Okay, let's let him go right here. Now, the bigger fish that hit this, this bait, that's something I'll guarantee y'all. <laughs> they will hit it. Let's make another cast in there. That was a quick bite. They could be some more fish right there. A lot of little debris right in there. Little limbs and stuff like that. Crappie love that kind of habitat. When it comes to bedding. They love those little limbs. <clears throat> things of that nature. But just barely, barely... I'm just barely moving it. I'm keeping that presentation right in front of their face. There he is. All right, this is a good fish right here. This is a good one. And <clears throat> I'm just letting him take drag. <laughs> a cow that small hook. I could tighten it up a little bit. That size 14 hook is small. Now this is what you call finesse fishing 101. It's hard to get too much finesseful than this right here. Okay. Come on, boy. Look at there. That's a pretty good white crappie right there. And look at that tiny offering little bitty look at it compared to my old thumb little bitty folks and that little 14 held him ain't that something let's let him go and this limber rod like i mentioned before is very that's key very very important to have a noodle whip of a rod And when they hit that little jig, they can't even feel that little strike indicator. No resistance at all. So you can go ahead and let them swim with it a while. All oh, three or four seconds. Three seconds before you set the hook. If you want to. Here he is. No, it's crappie. Sure is. And a good one, too. Especially for this size 14 hook. And all you got to do is just keep the pressure on. Light pressure. And here he is. Tiny, tiny offering. Ain't that something? That's what I'm talking about. Wow. Wow. There's not a sport on earth like this, folks. There's a lot of ways you can go about this. Fishing is something else. 
and there's a lot to be learned and I'm learning every day let's put him back there he goes hey man I want to smell this flyer do you see the wild wood flyer <coughs> okay folks let's try this white one right here little bitty deal different color we know the black will work let's throw it on top of the bed crappie love the bed right beside cypress trees absolutely okay where are you at crappie There he is. There's a crappie. Good one. Oh, me. Let me keep him out of the... Keeping him out of that stuff is a problem. Because I know I can't put much pressure at all on the fish. See, he's running everywhere. I can't do a lot about it. Not with that size 14 hook. Now, this is what I call sporty. You know, everything is again me, folks. Nothing's for me right here. And I'm giving the fish a sporting chance. But now this one lost. And this is a nice one. This is the biggest one that I've caught. That's a good fish. That's a, oh my goodness, 12 inches or better. Look at that little bitty. I mean, check it out. I've been wanting to show this for a long time. For a long time and i had a bunch of one pound line that i used to fish with a lot but it's rotten i've had it so long it's dry rotted so i can't find no one pound but that two pounds working out pretty good but really <laughs> if i could find some one pound line i would rather use it <clears throat> this hook right here needs to be bent uh, out like that just a little bit i don't know if y'all can notice it but it's not i've bent it out just a little bit that way it won't slide in that crappie's mouth when he eats it it'll stick him right where it is in his mouth at that time but by bending that hook out like i just showed y'all will allow those small hooks like that to get a better bite. In other words, when that crappie hits that bait, or any fish, when you set the hook, it'll stick him immediately wherever that jig's at. See, it won't slide in his mouth. That's very important with those little hooks. This is looking pretty good to me. We got two cypress trees. Right here. Make a cast right there. That looks like a good place to catch one to me. Look here. Look, 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 look. There he is, too. Yep. Looks like a little male right here. Quiet. He's getting tangled up in everything. Yep. Little male crappie. He was there. Might be some more right there now. The reason why I say that is because he hit it real quick. There wasn't no time in between. It was just boom. So let's let him go right here. Let's try that again. Look how little that strike indicator is. They can't even feel that. I mean, zero resistance. Okay, folks, let's see if we can catch a good one right here. Just got a little, that must have been a, a little bluegill or something. Whew. This wind is terrible. There he is. Oh my goodness. This is a mule. 
this is a good one. No doubt. <laughs> this is a mule. That's what I was talking about. Right there. Good white crappie. I knew that was a good one when I set the hook. Oh, no, I'm up in a tree. What are we going to do, folks? I hope I don't lose that fish. Let's see if we can get her loose right here. <laughs> okay. Now let's get her fish. There we go. That's a good one. That's a good one right there. Barely had her. But that's a good spot right there for a small hook. Look at there, what a crappie. I'd show y'all that one if I had somewhere to put my camera, but I don't have a tripod or anything with me, but that's a good one right there. Good doggone fish, let's let her, let's let her go or let him go. Now that was fun. These fish is still up here. They've started their spawning. There's a few fish up here. But they started it, and they don't want to leave their beds. So that's another reason why this is a real effective way to, to catch them. You know, like I say, once you catch one, let's say if I were to catch one right there. Uh, and if it was a bed. Uh, after I released the fish or kept it. I'm bound to catch two or three more, usually. Well, folks, there you have it. The fact of the matter is, as long as I've been fishing for crappie and studying crappie, that's probably the smallest bait I've ever caught a crappie on. Uh, that's super tiny, but it'll work. Uh, there's a lot of things we don't know about fishing. One of the best things to do is not getting to the groove of following the next man. Get out here, observe, test out, and find new ways to catch crappie. I want to say God bless each and every one of y'all. Thank y'all for all the great comments. Woo. Everything y'all do. Oh. And remember, go fishing when you can, but all this good for you.